Three, two, one. Self-destruct sequence activated. Hi, I'm Bobby. Okay, that was weird. Anyways, welcome back. So, today, it's a new day. We're kind of in the same set. Slight changes anyways. Um, today, yes, you have guessed right. I, I really have no idea what you guessed, but... Um, this is the video that we'll be doing the Sun Custom, uh, which is part 2 to part 1, which was the Moon Custom. So, let's get into it. Okay, before we start this video properly, we need to, to talk about some things. Firstly, thank God to the long explaining in the, second, uh, in the first video, because in this video, we can do less explaining and it's less boring. As you all know, in the last video, I explained that we'll be using this Cocker Spaniel for this custom today. Now, I already have a problem. This eye is tiny, and if you know, on this Moon Custom over here, the eyes are huge. And you see how I have to write the Chinese character there, right? The eye is too small for me to even squiggle one um, stroke on there. So I think I'll be using the other eye, and then this eye will be the normal eye. It will be a, li a bit lopsided, so this custom will not turn out as good as the other one. So that's my disclaimer. And also, do please note, I am no professional artist and I'm just starting out here. So the ways I fix things or do things might not be the same as yours. So please do not take offense to any of this and see you okay, in the next Okay guys, clip. so we're back here. Um, so as you know, we have to paint a base coat for this, over the eyes, over everything to make sure we cover the original color. And for this custom, I think I'm either going to go with this dark, uh, like mustardy yellow, or this light yellow. But I think I'm gravitating towards this because we can use a lighter color to do like some designs and stuff. So first, I'll be dipping into this color and painting it all. So I'll see y'all when this is fully painted. Okay guys, we're finally back with the spaniel fully coated with its base coat. So as you know, I went in with this yellow. Sorry, the cap is not really on. Went in with this yellow as the base. It took quite a while to dry, so it's been like an hour after the first clip. <laughs> but anyways, so now it's fully painted. You might notice that some spots aren't really painted fully, but I've already seen them and I realized, oh, I, in my original design for this, I'm already going to cover those with other types of paint so they won't be seen. That's why the eyes, you can kind of still see the flower. So don't worry, but right now, I think we're going to do the eyes first with the white as per normal, the scariest part ever. But let's get into that and then we'll do the details. Okay, so now I'll be dipping into some white paint and we'll be painting the eyes. And this is also the mo most nerve-wracking part of everything, I guess. And I've also realised in my other video that I actually, you can actually hear my heavy breathing inside the thing. I am so sorry that you can hear that. It's just really sad. And I also realized I just made a mistake. How amazing is that? I realized that this eye is actually going to be the eye with the Chinese character. So I'm like, why did I just start painting it white? But I realized after all this work and stuff, I've really gotten better at uh, like keeping within the lines and like making my... Basically, all my designs come true. Although there have been some fails, I must say. And uh, if you're thinking, oh, how are you able to do this, do that, do that? Can I just say, I started collecting LPS way back. But, sorry. But I was never good at customizing. Like, the paint I had wasn't right. The brushes were way too big. I didn't have all the types of brushes at all. And, like, I would ruin real LPS after LPS. And end up throwing them because of how hideous and heinous they looked. And it was so bad. So if you think I'm good in any way, shape or form, I'm so sorry. But no. <laughs> it took so many years, so many dead LPS by now, for me to just perfect this. And now I'm not even perfect at all. Like, I still have tons of work to do. And I've realised as a kid, I was really impatient. Like, I wanted everything to be perfect, which obviously wouldn't work out. So that's why now I wait for everything to dry normally instead of using a hairdryer to speed up the process. Because it really does make a difference and well, since then I think I'm doing pretty well now. So I'm gonna complete the eyes off camera because I don't want this video to be too super super long. So see y'all when the eyes are fully white. Okay, now we are back. So all I did uh, differently was I painted this red and I also added like this, uh, I just used the like a bigger brush than this slightly bigger and I just like paint some flames on and that's what I did basically uh, but in this clip we'll be painting this eye red like half red um, so yeah we'll be doing that for this clip and let's get into it okay so I'll just be dipping into some of this paint and we'll just go straight into it I guess now 
what's very important is that you follow the direction of your brush. So you command this brush, but yet again, you also have to like accommodate to what the brush is. So for, you know, like for example, like fan brushes, those are for like really intricate lines and like tiny, tiny lines. So you, for those brushes, you really have to have an objective in mind or else you're going to be wasting your brush. Now, for this brush, it is slightly angled downwards in a sense. So you have to really follow the flow of the brush, if anything, in order to achieve what you want to achieve. So if you're taking this as a tutorial, then cool. If you're taking this to learn something, then I want to make sure I can actually provide with you with whatever I've learned over the years. Because please, many LPS have died in my hands due to acrylic paint. So definitely I would recommend, if anything, if you're a child prodigy, go straight for it. If you suck like me, then please, please, please wait until you have watched more videos and like really have an idea in mind. Because if you just anyhow wing, like it's really not going to turn out well. If in any sense. I feel that LPS custom these days, people tend to get inspired by other people's customs. In my opinion, you should really find your own path and own way you really want to do your own customs. For my customs, you can tell I mask them after elements or maybe just really cool ideas. I try, try, try not to take inspiration from other people's customs. You can, but definitely change the design a lot. Because people can claim your work as other people's work, like as in their, for their own, you know? So you really got to switch it up and make it interesting or else your custom isn't really going to turn out well. But as that being said, we have completed this eye. I can't believe I just did that so fast. I guess I work faster when I'm talking. So now, we'll wait for this, to, uh, this eye to dry, well, both eyes, and then we'll go into painting the details. Okay, now time for one of the hardest parts, in my opinion, is writing the Chinese character. So for the moon custom, we did the uh, Chinese character Yue, which means moon. So obviously for the sun custom, we are going to be doing sun in Chinese. Now, there are, there's an alternate version for this. Uh, sun is actually Tai Yang, uh, insert words, yeah, in Chinese. But because I can only fit one letter, I'll be using the, uh, the word Ru instead. So I'll be popping it up on screen, obviously, so you know what I'm referencing to. Um, it is gonna be quite hard because um, in writing English with paint is already hard enough, yeah, and some and like you're adding it with an LPS custom. Oh no, bad stuff. So I'm gonna try my best to do so. No promises. Oh no 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. This is already pretty bad. So I'm just gonna wipe um some paint off my paintbrush because, you know, it's pretty bad already, and I'll be back with y'all when it's done. Okay, so in instances like this, yes, I've already failed. Um, but since that is so, I'm going to be dragging this paint and using every bit of it to continue making it right. Because yes, I may have failed this, but who says I have to permanently fail? There's always chances for me, in my opinion. For LPS customizing, there's always chances for you to fix your mistakes. So it's very forgiving, in my opinion, because you can just paint over it again, right? Now, that is a really major problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to outline, making sure the, out, 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 the outer part I really want is out, still out there, of, of course, and making sure that coat is really strong. I then am going to wait for this um, custom, I mean, the eye to dry. And after that, I'll go in with some um, red paint over there, paint the middle square out, and then do the final stroke in the middle. So after this is dry, and I've added the red, added the red uh, oh my god, as and I've added the red paint, I'll be back with y'all to finish the final stroke of the Chinese character. Okay, we're back. That took a while to fix, but it is fixed. So as you can tell, everything in the world can be fixed. Now I'm dipping into some red again, and I'm going to be painting the ears, a uh, selective part of the ears, not all going to be red. Um, but yeah, and I got to be careful because I want to follow the mold lines, as you can see, like, in between the hair ruffles, there's like lines dividing them. So I'm going to pick and choose a few of the lines that I want to follow. Uh, I would much recommend using a bigger brush for this, but I really want to get it right, you know. So I'm just going to turn the head on the custom. This is a fake cocker spaniel, so the bobble is terrible, but it's fine. So I'm just dipping straight in. Yet again, if it bothers you that I'm dipping straight into the paint bottle, I am so sorry, sweetie, but you're at the wrong channel. So I'm just going to continue... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, Lord. In my opinion, this is a lot easier than the moon custom that I did yesterday. 
but yet again truly what is different okay so sorry technical difficulties yeah but anyway i stopped when the camera stopped recording so don't worry you have not missed anything i'm just gonna continue painting this up all the way but i want to paint it unevenly because i decided and i took creative control you can as well you never have to f like really go with your original plan because things change things happen so i feel that i want to make it so like it's really ruffled up so it looks like flames you know like coming down like almost it, like it's dipped in like ketchup or something but like flame like so i'm just gonna messily do this but yet again making it look cute as well of course don't don't go overboard yeah that's a, that's definitely a thing you need to do um it will dry matte although it seems really glossy right now so you don't really have to worry about that too much another thing that i want to re really remind you guys is practice makes perfect and definitely i can tell you for a really long time i had the wrong paints so like definitely do a lot of prep work research before you even start unless you want to waste an lps because like a lot of kids out there you guys mostly have real lps because that's all we want right but you really want to try out custom and see whether you can do it and you are too lazy to buy fakes or like too lazy to do something like that so you're gonna try it on a real lps and that takes even more preparation because you do understand that you might be at risk of ruining it all so my opinion is practice 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 and now i'm just gonna continue dipping into red and doing the back so it's more consistent and i'll be doing yellow on the other side so after i'm done with that i'll get back to y'all okay so see you in the next one okay now we are totally done with that i've done the tips already there's definitely been some mistakes i've made here so i'll go back and fix them later but right now i'm gonna be doing the little scruff on the head and i think the nose okay so you might be wondering why i'm choosing gray to do these um details well i feel that um when you think about fire or like sun and like heat and stuff you think of a volcano right and what color are rocks they're gray and when they show you uh, volcanic eruptions in um, cartoons, what are there? There are floating lava rocks inside the lava. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I could incorporate dark grey into this because rocks, lava, it makes sense. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, for this little scruff up here, I think I might be putting like little mini suns up here to make it look cute. Because you don't understand, this is the... Because, oh my god. Kate, you're so stupid. You just put your finger on top of where you just painted. How do I do this kind of things? Jeez. Anyways. So now I'm going to just swoop this up. Okay. I think that's completed. And then I'm going to do the nose as well. I don't know if I should paint the nose. Should I paint the nose grey? Okay, we can fix it with black later. There's a chance I'll be painting it black. And I must admit, for LPS customizers, I think the nose is one of the hardest places to paint. Because it really has to look cute or else. Because if you notice, this cocker spaniel did not look like a cocker spaniel until I painted the um, painted the nose. So definitely be looking better now. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, it seems pretty cute. So I don't mind. But I'm still going to dip into more paint because I don't feel confident in my choice. <laughs> so, whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I missing? Oh no. Okay, so I recommend if you're a little kid and you want to paint an LPS custom, go for it. But definitely choose a base that you think is more comfortable. So what I would look out for is big eyes and like easy to paint bodies part. Because you see over here, around the tail, that spot, right? It's really hard to paint because your brush really has to get in there to paint every single spot. So I would recommend if, you, if it's your first time, do like a Great Dane or like a Dachshund or like a short hair. Because I don't think I would recommend doing Collies or Cocker Spaniels when you first start out. But definitely very glamorous pets. So what can I say? I will make the decision to become a kid. But just my advice, take it if you want it. I don't mind at all if you don't. So, you know. And I can't wait to provide a slideshow because I'm going to do some good photography with this girl. And I also purposely started filming earlier, so I have the sunset to play with. I hope it'll turn out okay. But anyways, right now we're done with that. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all these little details, like the tail, the little nails here, the paws over here as well. And then the final clip before completion will be the sun in the middle here. And maybe some fire marks and like gems and finishing this eye over here. And then the custom will be complete. So, wish me luck. Okay, so we are back right now with uh, most of the details done. Uh, I've painted all the legs, like different colours, like yellow and red, as you can tell. And now we're going to paint one of the most important parts. Probably the scariest I have to paint, honestly. We are going to paint the sun in the middle. Now, this is where a gem is going to be. So i got to make sure that this is perfect. So I'm going in with some red again. Okay, this is okay. This is going fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm really scared. Actually, okay. I think that looks decent, right? Yeah, it looks decent on in real life camera. It looks terrible. Whoops. 
Okay, so that's the middle part done. And... Oh my god. The only reason I'm not talking is because I'm like nervous. Oh lord. No, 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 no. Um, I would not call that amazing. Oh no. Oh, I messed up really bad, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna dip in some yellow now and hopefully I can color correct a bit. I have no idea, guys, if this is gonna be a successful custom. I hope it is. I try to make this as a short of a video as it can be so it's not as boring, but let me just say, it took hours in real life. So, please hit the like button so I do not regret this too much. By the way, this is a really pastel yellow, so I don't know why I'm using this for like a deep custom. But, as you can tell, it's not going too great. Um, mm, I would not say this is a good custom in any way, shape, or form. But, I guess this is almost complete. I know, a little bit of cliffhanger there. I am actually going to add some rocks up here to make it more lava-like. So stay tuned for the next clip because I don't want to mess anything else up. Uh, I'm going to head into the crown which I'm going to make out of rocks. I am not going to link them up so they're going to be floating rocks like in a lava stream. Um, I'm so sorry if you can hear my breathing because I realized in other videos that it could and I'm really sorry. Because you have to hear all that. Like, <laughs> it was so bad. So I'm going to... Oh. Okay, that's good. Let me just put the most important part that I forgot and didn't show you all is the eyes so I've gone ahead and put like a grey stripe over the already existing red and the back is definitely not dry yet so I'm just gonna be holding the carcass panel like this and the eyes I want to do is like kind of this you know have you seen this one the eyes where like it's alternate like this I honestly don't know how this will look because I can't really see the custom I'm just gonna cover the top cover the top like that and actually it looks quite decent you can't really see it on camera huh but I'll be showing close-up shots later so don't worry about it it is there I'm gonna add a little coat on top of this eye and then after that dries we'll be adding a little white dot that I'm gonna do off camera and then the next clip you are gonna be seeing will be gem attachment and outro See ya. Okay, one of the hardest parts. Oh, by the way, hi. <laughs> but I'm just gonna paint on the glue. As you know, I'm using Elmo's glue. Um, in my opinion, it's the best glue. Um, okay, I'm definitely gonna be fought in the comment section for that. Ignore that. Um, I'm not actually gonna use tweezers for this one. I'm just gonna use my fingers, pick it up, and like place it directly on, and I hope it sticks. Cause you know, if it doesn't stick, then oh, god bless. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dip into more, um, more glue. I'm gonna put one on its chest right here. That's what this blue, uh, blue. It's red scruff is for. And I think I want the... Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to use tweezers for this. Thank God I have it handy. I'm just going to pick this up. Oh, how am I going to do this? Okay, great. Oh, no. Don't run away from me. Stop running away from me. No, 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 no. Okay, great, 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 great. And now we've got it placed onto the custom. 
It's wonky. Of course it's wonky. Everything in my life is wonky. Great! Amazing! I'm gonna have to dip into more. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dip into this and... Oh, wait. Should I place it on the... Oh, yeah. Red side definitely looks better. So I'm just gonna place some glue there again. And grab my tweezers because apparently the teardrop uh, gems are the hardest to hold. I'm just gonna attach it directly onto the carcass panel. Just like that. And with that, thank you everybody for watching today's video. We have completed this custom and prepared for a slideshow and my outro. I'm so sorry, but we have come to the end of this customs video. Hey guys, yeah, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a sad outro again. I have to keep saying that every outro. But thank you all so much for coming and watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed this custom. That side look was so scary. But as you can see, this custom transformed a lot and is one of my proudest customs ever. But yet again, it's also the counterpart of one of my favorite other customs I've done, which is this little dragon. So with this, we have completed the sun and the moon. See you guys in the next one. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Ring the notification bell so you never miss another time I upload. See you guys in the next one. Let's get out of it. <laughs>